I've got the Poco F2 Pro right here. It's also known by other names like the Redmi K30 Pro, the Redmi K30 Pro Digital Zoom Edition or something. We're working with a device with the codename LMI right here today. Now I've previously shown you how to install TWRP as your custom recovery on this device. That specific twerp TWRP build was made by a developer that goes by Morano Frio. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, but so, you know some of his some of their TWRP builds are you know, flawless. But this one is currently having some issues with various custom ROMs whenever you try to flash the zip file or even just updating with an over-the-air update file. So today I want to show you how to flash the Chinese version of TWRP. It's also known as the uh, TWRP build by LR team. A lot of people just know of this as the Chinese version. It's got the file name TWRP-3.4.2B. Dash dash so I'm going to show you how to download that. If you look in the video description, you're going to find a download link for that image file. We're going to need to download that to our PC. Naturally, you're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC because you need to have the US uh, you need to have the uh, bootloader of this smartphone unlocked before you even begin this process. And then we need to boot this device into fastboot mode. I've shown you how to do this in a specific video in the past. Um, but we're just going to power off the device and press and hold the power and volume down buttons with the device in a powered off state so that we can get into fast boot mode. And once we are in fast boot mode, we can then connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable so that we can manually flash that image file. All right, so what we have here is the Chinese TWRP build that I told you about. When you download it, it's going to be in this file name. But to just make things easier, we're going to rename that to twrp.img. And you can even right click this file, go to properties, and look at the file name here to make sure that that is correct. Make sure that this is not twrp.img.img. Make sure there's no not two extensions here. With that done, we can then open up a command prompt or terminal or um, Windows PowerShell in the same folder as both your twrp.img as well as your ADB and Fastboot tools. So if you need to, you need to take this file and you need to copy it or move it into the same folder that has our ADB and Fastboot tools installed. With that done, we can then again open up that command prompt or PowerShell or terminal. Within that folder, it needs to be within the same folder as your twrp.image file and your ADB and Fastboot tools. If you have all of that good, we're going to type out the command fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img. So this initiates the actual executable that we're using. We're telling that file that we want to flash a specific file. In this instance, we're flashing the twrp image file and we're flashing it to the recovery partition. So we're fast booting the, the twrp into recovery. We're going to press enter on the keyboard. Just like when we installed the, I showed you how to install the other TWRP image file. You're going to get two, you should get two different prompts right here. 
both should return OK. And then with that done, we can type out the command fast boot space boot space twrp.img. So this time, we're actually just booting into this file into recovery mode. This is just so that we can actually boot into TWRP on our phone without having to hold down any physical buttons on the device. So as soon as you press the enter button on the keyboard, you're going to see the smartphone reboot and it should boot you into this TWRP. Now if you don't want to reboot the phone from the PC with that fast boot command or if you're having issues, we can always force the device to reboot by pressing and holding the power button. However, we want to remember that as soon as the device boots up, we need to boot into TWRP. So as soon as the device reboots, we need to let go and then hold both the power and the volume up buttons at the same time. And we're going to continue holding those two buttons down until we see that blue LR Team logo. Then you're going to see that go black and it should take you to the main menu of TWRP. You may be seeing this in a different language. Again, remember this is a Chinese build of TWRP, but you're going to have a language option right there in the beginning screen. If not, if you are still getting to this menu and everything is in Chinese, then look at this right side, the third button down, tap on settings. And then as we go in here, you can see the tab all the way to the right will give you an English or a Chinese option that we can just change and then tap set language. So there you have it. That is how to install the LR Team version of TWRP, also known as the Chinese build. Again, this is going to be the download link is going to be in the video description. And that is how to flash it on the Poco F2 Pro also known as the Redmi K30 Pro.